Sports Party! Another day, another party game for the Switch. I'm getting those shovelware Wii game feelings again, and I don't like it. Sure, it's great for me to find all these obscure games to play and review, but people actually got suckered into buying some of these games. I'm looking at you, Wii Play, so I'm worried that this is what's happening to the Switch, that we're basically starting to get really shallow games. This is six games for you to experience. Frisbee, jet ski, basketball, golf, skateboarding, and tennis. I think this is the first time I could ever say this. All of these games were just average at best. It's hard to put any of them in any order from best to worst since there is no clear winner. Sure beach tennis is dull but so is frisbee and basketball. The only stand down in this collection and even that wasn't that great was golf. The golf courses were kind of meh. They were designed like someone just took one pass at it and said yeah that's good enough. There wasn't one course that I thought was great and it didn't help that the controls were too unpredictable. And while it does do that, it would often overshoot the hole even if you do it perfectly. Now it's done this in other games, but it's just way more consistent in this game. So it's kind of hard to plan your shots well when it was kind of like a guessing game on like, maybe I should underpower my shot. But it gets even stranger when you're trying to putt. This is the most forgiving putting into the hole I've seen since Infinite Mini Golf and their gravity suck-in mechanics when it came to putting into the cup. This game, even if you overpower the shot, it will go in almost 100% of the time. It's like it has a vacuum ready to suck up a ball that goes anywhere near it. So all the finesse and difficulty is gone when it comes to putting. Only once did I overshoot a putt and I had to really hit it hard to do that. Now basketball just has you playing a game of basketball with a couple other people. It was easy to score and it was a dumbed down version and there really isn't much to say about it. Frisbee has you throwing at random targets that would appear. The one who has the most points at the end wins. This one was interesting enough if too simple. That's gonna be the problem with a lot of these games. Everything is just too simple. Skateboarding has you go down a very generic street with oddly no cars. It's like the city made this stretch of land just for skateboarding, which is insane. Talk about a waste of tax dollars. Now before anyone says anything, this whole place is on an island, so I guess it's possible that the guy who made this place for tourists made this insanely lawsuit-friendly area. But you have to wonder what they were thinking. Why not just set up a skate ramp and not some long slums that you have to break your neck on? Jet ski has you racing through a water course. I've never liked jet skiing games as I always think that the worlds they have are too generic. I mean, it's not their fault. There's only so many ways to change up driving in the water. And this is just as good as any other games that have jet ski courses in them. So I guess there's a positive for this game. Now I saved the worst of the bunch for last. It's only slightly worse than the other modes, but it is way more boring than the rest. It's beach tennis. You hit a ball back and forth over a line. You press a button when it gets near you, and that's it. There are power moves that you can do to hit it harder, but even that was kind of dull to do. The simplicity of this whole mode was so annoying. It feels like someone just put it in at the last minute and didn't bother to put any style into it. Now the one thing that makes these games actually worth playing more than once is the optional motion controls. And unlike the terrible new carnival games for the Switch, you don't have to unlock motion controls. All these games work just fine with motion controls. In fact, I would say it was more fun to play with them on than the normal push a button for the controls. At least there's a little complexity, even if it's just moving your arm. You level up your characters when you get stars in the games that you're playing. These level increases will give you new things that you can wear if you really care to change up your avatar. There are a couple deviations from the games, like in basketball where you have to make shots from different locations, or a different way of playing frisbee, but they were all just too simple or dull to play. Sports Party isn't great, but it isn't bad. It has to be one of the most average games that I've played this year. If they had expanded on some of the games, or put a little bit of effort into making it fun to play, this could be a little enjoyable game to play with friends. Right now it's just kind of forgettable, and I think you should just skip it. There just isn't anything here that other games haven't done better in the past. If you're looking for fun party games with your friends, there are many other options that you could choose that were better. But when it comes to this, while this isn't a bad game, it's a very underwhelming one. So you should just go ahead and skip this.